like really frightening like I was scared to come here because I didn't feel like I was gonna fit in um but like now I don't feel that way anymore because um everyone is really accepting of like me as a person um my day tomorrow starts at 8 30 so we'll see how that goes <laughs> goodbye for now
amazing things and amazing is just the only word I can use because there's like amazing is like what like there's nothing to even describe the people running this too are amazing Myself. 
I stare into the mouth, my mouth, of monstrous deception. Josh. How do you I T E N T I F Y? Josh, how do you I T E N T I F Y? How do I even begin to answer this question? Do I lay my trauma on the table? Reveal myself to the most curious? Do I embellish and lie or sugarcoat and hide just so I have something with which I can I T E N T I F Y? I have a secret, which to some is a shame. To others, it's a title that I would like to proudly proclaim. It's a badge and a ward and a wound I carry, a bleeding truth that I must say to I D E N T I F Y. I'm Muslim and I'm gay. No matter how I answer, it feels wrong. No matter how many times I portion myself into neat little pieces, swallowable, bite-sized chunks of generational trauma spiced with turmoil, fear, and doubt, all to answer such a devilishly simple question. I-D-E-N-T-I-F-Y, that's the reality of living and knowing who you are. Your identity comes with a price, a price of intolerance and struggle, excommunication and nights of tearful supplication. It's a cry for help and a stand for justice. Have you ever had to live with the knowledge that to be yourself was to hate yourself? 